Coming from a small city in Mississippi, I learned a few things about life. A lot of those nice things that we always want, I'm talking about the flashy things, the nice things, the things that people brag about on social media. It really don't hold no weight once you understand the value of life. And nothing more valuable than having a support and family. You feel me? Like having a family that believes in your dreams. Understand what you want to achieve in life. And you got to put in the work to do it. No matter how big your dreams are, people will sit back and look at you crazy. Thinking you ain't going to make it. Think about it, it's impossible. And you can't let people reflect their fears upon your existence. And that's just the facts. Somehow I balanced having a relationship, still obtain good grades, while well, becoming one of the best players in the state. Now it's a proven fact that I have a tough decision ahead of me. The deadline is coming up for college submissions. So one day I went to go visit my guidance counselor to make sure my paperwork is looking good. Hey Antonio, are you ready to submit your form and highlights? Looking at my profile, make sure everything was pretty much accurate. From my rushing yards to my rushing touchdowns. Then on the other side, you gotta worry about my pass deflections, my interceptions. Cause a two-way superstar coming out of Mississippi, is just unheard of. I'm one of one. Mr. Antonio King, number 24. Cause this highlight tape gonna be like a, a low-key classic. It's gonna be mentioned up there with the Tavon Austins. Well, hold on, let me, let, me, let me make sure. Let me make sure all my uh, highlights are accurate though. Let me make sure they got everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, first game of the season, like, hold on. Oh yeah, this is that kick return, right? Yup, yup, this is that kick return when your boy almost went straight to the crib. I almost went straight to the crib if I got that one block, man. Oh my good. You guys gotta understand, I was out there balling in that first game. I was doing my, this is my senior year, by the way. This is my senior year. I was doing my family because your boy gets to the end zone. Hey, <laughs> like I had natural strength. I had natural ability to be amazing, but I wasn't conditioned. I'm not gonna lie. Like I didn't start playing football until my junior year. Look at that hit I put on a QB. Oh my God, every hit was a boom. <laughs> But like, I didn't play football until like my junior year. Never really got conditioned for the season. Like I, I didn't train in the off season. I was just relying on my natural God-given talent. It's right there landing another boom on a goofy. Like I was out there, I was out there just making plays, right? Like in my senior year, playing on varsity, it, it, it was tough. It was really tough out there because a lot of people was depending on me to make a lot of plays. Like on offense, I got it. But on defense, being 5'9", undersized, it was horrible, bro. Cause a lot of receivers was like 6'1", 6'2". They, they already peaked at their height. I'm still hoping for a, a little growth spurt. And it was a problem. But not all the time. Like sometimes I was able to, you know, hit the hole different. I was able to kill it in coverage cause I was just like so undersized. But look at your boy in receiving. You see them hands? Being a triple threat from running, catching and playing defense. Oh, you gotta love it. But look, look at this. This is where I found out where my flaw was on coverage. I cannot withstand playing long plays. I'm using a lot of energy, shutting down routes, and, and, and the bigger guy, the more conditioned guy is exposing me. Like, look, <laughs> he's also bigger than me. Like, coach didn't understand that I am a slot cornerback. But he got me playing the primary receiver, bro. I can't do this. Look, I'm out here getting mossed. <laughs> I couldn't jump. <laughs> but okay, over the course of the season, of course, like, I uh, even noticed, like, I, I did get it better. I still impacted the game offensive-wise. You see me? Like, look, look, look at this. Breaking tackles, doing my thing. And look at this play right there. Should have pitched it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great block. Straight to the crib. All the way to the end zone. Let's go. I, I can't say, like, over the course of the season, I did get better. I impacted every game in different ways. I made great adjustments. And off the rip, your boy just getting strong. Like, moving the chains. And right here pitched the ball and I wasn't ready for it. I, I didn't see it. He, he hit my little blind spot. I, w I don't know. I don't know what I heard in the huddle and, and I made a huge mistake, but you know, we, we get we got the ball right back. You know what I'm I scooped it up. They got to the end zone. We got the tutty regardless, but we got to make sure that we don't make that happen. Make that happen. We cannot let that happen again. What play was this? Boom! Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my defensive clips either. I'm letting the boom. I'm getting a pick. But in all honesty, though, like, um, I did primarily play, uh, you know, first or second string on cornerback because I, I was pretty decent in coverage. I'm not going to, I was pretty decent in coverage, but if I was undersized against a receiver, oh yeah, I got exposed. Look at the one, the two, <laughs> the three, the end zone. Cause your boy out here doing this thing regardless. Cause I was pretty fast. 
I was super strong, like working on working on my pops field and and, 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 and you know working for the, the the supermarket around the corner from the crib. I, I was just already naturally stronger than kids in the high school. Like, you feel me? Like I was just strong. I always did yard work. I, I, I did push ups. I did pull ups. It was nothing to do in the state of Mississippi. Like you guys gotta understand, like your boy is country as ever. I put hot sauce on everything. You know what I'm saying? I ate the chitlins, the pork chops. The, uh, the lamb chops, whatever you want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, the crawfish, like, you know how it is, man, but, uh, yeah, yeah, back to the football talk, like, look at this, <laughs> I don't know how we had two people with a deep zone and nobody covered it, but you know what I did, I made a play, recognizing the defense, decided to cover up the holes, ran through the middle, boom, laid them out, shutting down a two-point conversion, but of course, that impacted the game because, you know what, they was down two. You know, they still came down later in the uh, game. You know, they scored a touchdown. They was only up four. And I made a huge mistake. But not grabbing the ball, fumbling behind a line of scrimmage, and they recovered it. Oh, my goodness. Not thought our playoff hopes was over with. But we ended up getting an interception that very next play. Number 14 almost housed it, bruh. And I was like, you know what? I got to impact the game. And I had the best run of my career. The best run in high school ever. Breaking multiple tackles off to the races. Going to the end zone for a nice little tutty. Let's go. <laughs> Even though it still was like four minutes left on the clock or whatever. It was like four. Yeah, it's about four minutes left on that clock, bro. We shut them boys down. <laughs> we shut them boys down. And we was heading to the state championship. And when I say everything that I learned in that senior year playing football, it was all on the line. I tried to ask coach, let me play back in that inside. Let me work. Let me do my thing. You feel me? And sometimes I did. It's so sad I didn't. It's right there I'm getting my first pick by playing in the inside. I thought I exposed the defense. I tried to house it and everything. But you know what? Playing both sides of the ball once again, I felt the pain, man. I'm talking about in this state championship game. It was so much work trying to get some yards. I finally broke out for a huge run. Almost housed into the crib, but I was too tired. Your boy done got burnt out, bro. Like, that, 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 don't, that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen, bro. I should be well conditioned. I should have been eating proper. I should have been doing the proper workouts, but I wasn't, bro. I'm not going to lie. I was just relying on natural talent, and it bit me, bro. It bit me. Like, just look at some of these plays. Look at my release. It was terrible. Like, you guys got to understand, like, getting multiple offers to be a running back, oh, that was easy. But getting a few offers for being a cornerback, being undersized, it definitely impacted me. So I was so worried about being better on defense that my offense was lacking. Look at your boy still fighting for them chains. Pick up the first down right there. And you honestly think I should have got the ball right here? I believe so too. But hey, we got into the end zone, right? Decided to go for the two-point conversion. I couldn't believe the play call right here. Like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> that play hasn't worked all season. So the game being 12 to 14, late in the fourth quarter, I might have still make a place in the open field, bro. Like, I'm out here tired. I'm fighting for my freaking life in this game. I'm trying to make plays as much as possible. Look at the great coverage right there. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I should have broke out into the zone a lot quicker. But, hey, we still got to stop, right? He goes across the middle. Ball tipped. I should have got the pick. But if I have my fingertips, I'm asleep. So, now we get the ball back, right? Second and five. Great blocks. Moving the chains. Cross the first down, right? I'm tired, bro. Like, you can just see it in my legs. Like, bro, I'm not moving as fast as I usually do. But... I got to give a shout out to my old line for getting these great blocks. I'm breaking out to the outside, getting to the end zone, taking that lead. And uh, so I should have I just I stopped the highlight tape right here. No, 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 because they know what happened. They know we did. <sighs> I might as well include it in the highlight reel, y'all. I, I, well, I might as well. This ain't even the highlight reel, no, but this is like a truth reel. Because I tried to bait him in the inside and couldn't recover. Oh, my goodness. But somehow I still hopped him down, preventing him from scoring a touchdown, man. A lot of 63 yard reception. And of course, the game still wasn't over with just yet. It, it, it wasn't over with. But on fourth and three, all out blitz. These guys left the man open. <laughs> and it all started because I tried to bait my mans and I couldn't recover, bro. And I, I got I gotta include the clip. I, I gotta include the clip because they're gonna find out that we didn't win the state championship anyway. And they're going to figure out, like, why why they didn't win state championship? Because of me, bro. Trying to be a two-way star, I was tied. Now, as I do got a few scholarships as a cornerback, it's not to the states that I want to do. I could, man, I could go Mississippi State as a fifth string. 
or I could go somewhere where they will allow me to play both sides of the ball and let me flourish. Cause I'm trying to make it to the league and not all teams will allow me to beat me. So I gotta go somewhere where I'm accepted. But what team should I go to? That's a tough decision.